So to balance this equation, let's count the atoms up, and we're going to use a bit of a trick to make it somewhat easier. We have three hydrogen atoms here, plus we have the one and times two, so plus two. So we have five hydrogen atoms, and we're going to call this PO4 just one item. We have it here, and we have it here. It stays together. It's a polyatomic ion. That simplifies balancing equations when you have polyatomic ions on both sides. We're just going to say we have one phosphate, we have one magnesium, and then the oxygens, we have one times two. This two applies to everything in the parentheses, so one times two, two oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, one phosphate times two. We've got three magnesiums, and then we have just one oxygen. So we don't count these oxygens because they're part of the phosphate. So they're already counted. Let's see what we can do here. I think the thing I would like to do first is put a three in front of the magnesium. I like to leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. So if I put a three in front of the magnesium hydroxide, that means I have one times three. That'll give me three magnesium atoms. And now I need to update my hydrogens and my oxygens. So for my hydrogens, I have the one times two, that gives me two, and the three is multiplied by everything. So three times those two, that gives me six. So now I have nine, still have one phosphate, still have three magnesiums. And for the oxygens, I have the two oxygens, the so one times two, two times three, that'll give me six. So my magnesiums are balanced. Let's do the phosphates next. So it looks like I could just put a two right here, and then I'd have the one phosphate times two. That would give me two of those. That'll help, but I need to update the hydrogens. So let's do that. I have the two times three, that gives me six, plus the two times the one hydrogen, two times three is six. So now I have 12 hydrogen atoms, <laughs> okay. So what's left to balance are the hydrogens and the oxygens. We left those until last. If I put a six here in front of the hydrogen, two times six, that would give me 12. So now those are balanced. And the oxygens, one times six, that gives me six. So those are balanced. And now this equation is balanced. I think the trick here, one, is if you count that phosphate as just one item, that'll simplify adding up all the atoms. And then you also want to leave the oxygens and usually the hydrogens until last. That usually helps a lot. This is Dr. B with a somewhat complicated balancing of H3PO4 plus MgOH2. Thanks for watching.